Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury channel, Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I want to talk to you. It's very important, it's very important that you guys subscribe, like, and tell your friends about this channel. We're trying to boost, we're trying to boost the Paul Pluto and the Archie Luxury channel, and we can't do it without your support. We need your support. It really, really would help. The other thing is, guys, we can't survive on Google Ads alone. Google Ads is uh, very, very, um, it's hard to survive, guys. So look, paid reviews. On the Poor Pruder channel, we do paid reviews. These paid reviews keep me full-time on YouTube. Also, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon lets you pay a small amount of money every month. It's kind of like a tithing, except that it helps creators stay full time. You sponsor me on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, I'll send you secret pre release videos, I'll send you secret Patreon only videos, plus I'll send you links to other videos that other people have made that I thought were really good. So if you really want to keep me full time on YouTube, consider sponsoring me on Patreon. The other thing is, guys, if you want to send me a donation, these are greatly appreciated. They're greatly appreciated. I earn a couple of bucks per thousand views, which is hardly anything, considering I'm in a niche topic. Guys, if you really get benefit out of this channel, consider sending a few bucks. It's something that keeps creators like me full-time on YouTube. Now, guys, let's get on with the show! Showtime! Hi, guys. Paul Pluto, Paul Pluto channel. And uh, today I'm doing a special review. Uh, this here, please don't mention my name. Refer to me as Harry from New York. Your audience is nasty. Hi, Arch. I'm about to purchase a Glass Hoot Original Panomatic Luna. For 6,500 US macaroonies like new. I need to make a decision by Saturday. Please get back to me ASAP. $20 on the way. Harry from New York. What do I think? A glass hoot original panomatic. Well, I got to tell you this. I wanted to ditch this baby, but doing a bit of research... It's got a very finely finished movement. It's got a very nice movement. Um, take a look at Chrono 24. And uh, I, I gotta be honest with you, would I buy this watch? Six and a half thousand US macaroonies is a fair bit of coin. It's a fair bit of coin to get something that is very hard to sell. Now, I suppose, you know, with the Glass Hoot brand, you've got to either look at it as a, um, a very tough piece of kit to sell, or do you look at it as a very inexpensive, a very cheap Lange? How do you look at it? Uh, Glass Hoot themselves there. Look, I, um, i got to be honest with you, Harry. I, I did say to you... Uh, don't buy it. Don't buy it. Um, I emailed Harry quickly and I said, look, just don't buy it. Don't buy a Glass Hoot original. I mean, look, it's, it's not the end of the world as we know it, but it's, it's, it's a tough brand. The resale value on this type of watch is... It's an interesting genre you've got yourself into. I mean, seriously, for that same money, six and a half thousand US dollars, that's a fair bit of coin. It's not to be sneezed at. That's, that's a fair bit of coin. I tell you a couple alternatives that you may, you may want to consider. Now, I would say, as soon as you mentioned Glass Hoot Original, and, and I admit that's a brand that's very trendy, they're kind of a bit Germany, you know, German in their uh, approach. Um, okay, fair enough. Yes, Lange is German too. Yeah, 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 I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, Glasshoot kind of... 
Look, what, what do I think of these glass suit original? Um, how, what do I think of them? Look, they're very cool. They're very cool like that there. But I, I can't honestly recommend one to you. There's so much better shit out there. I mean, if you really want good bang per buck with high-end uh, finish in a tank, I'd get a Reverso. I'd get a Jager Le Coultre. Get a Reverso, man. I reckon that is a much better piece than a Glass Hoot original. That, that, that's my opinion. Um, what else would you get? Okay, so you say to me, Oh, well, Archie, I don't want to get a Reverso because it's very... It's, it's much, Basically, it's like a dress watch. Okay, point taken. So I would say to you, get a Master Control or a Master Compressor. Get a Jager Le Coultre. Um, and uh, I think I think you would be very very happy with that. Then you might say to me, "Oh no, that's not quite. I want that Germanic attention to detail." And I would say to you, one of the the favourite Swiss German brands is IWC because. IWC is in Schaffenhausen. Schaffenhausen is Schaffenhausen. That's in the German-speaking part of Switzerland. So I reckon IWC has some absolute bargains at the moment. They seem to be a bit soft. There are some absolute IWC bargains out there. I would prefer to buy an IWC than a glass hoot original. That's my opinion. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, you know, IWC is at least semi saleable. Glass hoot original. Ooh, you've got to get someone who really wants that brand. It's a micro, you know, okay, okay. It is main, it's sort of semi mainstream, but it's it's not. I mean, let's be honest with you. Six and a half thousand dollars, you can get yourself an awfully good second-hand sports steel Rolex. Explorer 2, you could get yourself a, uh, a used Subby, no date. There's a lot of things you can get for that money, which are iconic, and you could always get your coin back. I don't hate the Glass Hoot original. I mean, <clears throat> they're that, okay, that particular model there, uh, the Glass Hoot Panomatic Luna, that's got, I believe, it's an in-house movement, finely finished. Yeah, it is a nice looking watch, but to me, it's always been like, for someone who can't quite afford a Lang A1, you get a Glass Hoot. You know, that's, that's just the kind of genre it kind of is. You, you, know, you know what I mean? It's it's almost there, but no cigar. And six and a half thousand is serious coin. Um, it's essentially a dress watch. I mean, I, in my opinion, a dress watch that's really cool. I'd be getting a Jager Le Coultre. Six and a half thousand dollars is 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 serious amount of kit there. Um, the glass hoot, look, look, it's not a terrible price, six and a half for a uh, glass hoot original Panamatic Luna. I had just had a look on Chrono 24, and you're saying yours is a light new. Yeah, I'd, uh, six would be better. Six would be better. Um, is it something, look, if you really do love the glass hoot original, sure, sure. I mean, they are a trendy, cool brand. Yes, I grant you that. They're kind of a very hip sort of brand but six and a half I mean I've never really considered them they're not paddock or lang a league are they you know they're kind of uh, I'd much rather get a, a Jager Le Coultre. and if you want a circular I mean I mean the master control series they got fancy 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 wancy stuff in there too you know that's I reckon that's better bang per buck that's personally I think it's better bang per buck. It's a better known brand. It's a more prestigious brand. I think, I think uh, Jager Le Coultre is more prestigious. Um, I think it's more classic, iconic. Glass Hood original. Yeah, you know the story. They were in the East German side. You know that. And the, 
You know, they're kind of resurrected. It's a bit like Brega. Is that real Brega? You know, it's kind of, it's a little bit passe. Um, I'd even prefer a Brega to a Glass Hoot original. You know, that's, that's my opinion. Glass Hoot original. Look, the problem with these brands is, is that they're one wonder, one owner brands. You'll never be able to get decent coin if you need to trade it in. And so many of you people, do you say that, oh, it doesn't matter about resale, I'm going to keep it forever. How many times have I heard that? And then you sell the bloody thing. Okay? Life can be a bitch. And if you got to sell these things, man, that's a brand that is weak okay that is weak you could easily take that to a dealer and they offer you high twos that's how mean it is you know it's just mean 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 that doesn't mean it's a crap brand i i quite like the styling of glass hoot um but would i get one myself i think there's a lot better i i, I don't know why you don't look at some of the giga look ultra that's got some magic pieces you want that Circular sports sort of watch. Man, you, you're in Rolex money. Why get second? Why? I, I know you may not like Rolex. You had enough for you wanna look if, at the end of the day, the Glass Hood original is not the most stupid thing you could do. There are worse brands to buy. Uh, you're buying it second hand. Okay, okay, okie dokie. Um I'd get it. I'd get a Shaker La Culture. I mean, that's a, such a... <clears throat> they just don't excite, excite me. The Glass Hood original just does not excite me. It just doesn't make me excited. You just think, oh, shit. Why didn't you buy... You know, I just think, why didn't you buy a bloody Jager La Culture Reverso or a Jager La Culture Master Control or Master Compressor? Why didn't you do that? I don't know. <clears throat> so, in my opinion, I wouldn't do it. Appalling Risa. Okay, they, they have nice finish. Nice finish and workmanship. Yes, yes they do. Yes, 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 yes. I'm not going to lie to you. They are top-notch. Top-notch brand. Very, very... They, they, they are, they're, they're a cool brand. They're a cool brand, but... For that money, six and a half is serious coin. I'd be wanting a bit more punch. I'd want to punch a bit more than, than what the Glass Hoot punches at. So, that's my opinion. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Comments below, please. Put a comment below and tell me what you think of Glass Hoot Original. And that's a, uh, what's it called? It's a Panomatic. Panomatic Lunar. Tell me what you think. Is there is he a lunatic or is it or is it a bargain? Paul Pluto signing out. Okay.